Let me show you how to use Crumple Pop Split Screen Pro. The first thing you'll want to do is place your clips for your split screen effect on the timeline. Then go to the effects. You can find Split Screen Pro under Crumple Pop and Split Screen Pro. Then drag and drop that effect onto your clip and you'll need to go up to the effects windows and select a template. Here we have a variety of different split screen effects you can choose from. Uh, after you select your split screen template, uh, then choose which block you would like to place your clip in. Then you can apply Split Screen Pro to the other clips and choose their corresponding blocks. Next, if you want to make uh, edits to your borders, you can use the border width and border color uh, controls to customize your borders. And now that we have our borders set up, uh, let's work on the positioning of the clips within their blocks. So the easiest way to do this is with on-screen controls. And you can do that uh, after you select the clip that you would like to change the position of. And make sure that the Split Screen Pro effect is selected in the effects window. This displays the on-screen controls. You can adjust the position of the clip using the center green control point or you can use the shift X and Y controls in the effect window. You can also scale the clip with the on-screen scale video control or you can use the scale video slider in the effects window. Now we'll quickly set up the other clips using on-screen controls. Also, if you need more room to work, feel free to lower the canvas size. Uh, this is especially helpful for larger images or logos. Um, just nice to have a little bit of extra space uh, to get your clips positioned. All right, now that we have our clips positioned, let's work on animating our split screen. So what you're gonna wanna do is select the clip you want to animate and make sure again that Split Screen Pro is selected in the effect window. And then click the Arrive checkbox in the animation window. This will reveal the Arrive animation on screen controls. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is move the playhead to when you want the animation to start. I want it to start uh, on the first frame, so I'm just gonna drag it there. And then choose which direction you want the block to arrive in and select Begin. Then move the playhead to where you want the animation to end. Uh, I want it to be about a second long, so I'm gonna move it there and then I'll select end. And so that's how you animate uh, clips in. If you wanna do a departure animation, it works the exact same way. And that's how you use Crumple Pop Split Screen Pro.